Oh. Hi. Hi. I was hoping you'd be home. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, doing a little work on the car here. Mm -hmm. uh, is it Rafe? You know, uh, we tried to stop the transfer, but we couldn't. No, yeah, I actually haven't been able to see him yet. I missed visiting hours yesterday. It was a long story. But I was kind of hoping there might be a way maybe I could get in there today. Oh, you know what? I worked with that judge before, and uh, <laughs> I don't think he's going to change his mind. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I figured it couldn't hurt to ask. There's something else? Well, <clears throat> Rafe's lawyer, Vince Russo, Olivia hired him for us. I was just, I, I was wondering if, if you knew him very well or if you thought he was worth it. Yeah, well, Vince is one of the best. I've heard. But do you think that I could possibly do just as well with someone um, less expensive, you know? Because the public defender that Rafe had in juvie, he was really good. Natalia, these are very serious charges, so, um, you know, I'm not saying that a public defender couldn't help Rafe, but you never know who you're going to get or how big of a caseload he's got or if he's having a bad day. Yeah, it's a big risk, yeah. I wish I could be more help. I'm sorry. No, thank you. That's, that's what I needed to hear. I'll make it work. Thank you. Too bad you couldn't help to tell you with your problem. Yeah, you really tried there, Frank. Uh, well, thanks, guys. No, I mean, you really, really, really tried, tried there. Well, really. thanks. Thank you. You know, well, you guys would have done the same if you had the right connections to help her, you know? I, I, I like her. I really feel bad for her, you know? And, I mean, we're all rooting for her, right? Yeah, some of us more than others. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, what he's trying to say is that if rooting were a team sport, that uh, you, Frank, would be the captain of that team. That's all. Yeah. I feel like the captain of the football team has got a major league crush on the cheerleader. What are you talking about? Well, ask her out, Frank. Just, We're just friends. Until you ask her out. Frank. Her son is in jail right now, okay? I mean, the poor woman's working a bunch of jobs here, you know, I think Frank, dating is the it. last All thing on All she can do is say no to you. It's not like you've never heard a woman say no to you before. What? Oh, God. Uh, Frankie, that came out. Look, 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 look. Oh, okay. Look, you like her. Right? Just admit that. We That's all it. like her. Yeah, but not the way that you like her. Come on, big guy. You can do it. Yeah, just say it. Okay, you want me to say it? Yes. Go. Okay. Okay. Dying for you to say it. All right. Say it, Frankie. I like her. Oh, there you go. Wasn't thank so you. Wasn't good for you. Just good for you, Frankie. So now you can ask her out. She was Gus's wife, okay? He was my brother-in-law, my friend, my colleague. Listen, did you talk to Pop lately? You know, because how's Harley's oh, house? Because Blake is supposed to be the showing the house. Subject again. Is she, is she, is yeah, she showing yeah. the house? Yeah. No. How's the weather? Yes. Yeah, you want to talk about Springfield? Yes. Mayor. Yes. Hey guys, you ever been in Montana? I'm not asking her out. Should we follow him? He's running out of excuses. Look, the, the only reason she comes to me is because we're we're just friends. And then I'm a cop and I have connections that can help her with her son. Well, at least I thought I did. Frank, there are plenty of other cops that she could have gone to. But she better, better cops. Easy, Dr. Death. Hey, hey, no one's perfect, Frank. We're just saying that you could spend your time doing other things. That's all we're saying. What things? Asking, Asking her out, out, Frank. Do it now. Come on. She's mourning Gus right now, okay? I'm not going to hit on a widow. Come no, on, no, this is no, disgusting. Frankie, Frankie, it's... It's only creepy if you flirt with a woman at the funeral. I'm not taking her out. Hi. Hey, Cass. Are you changing rooms? No, I'm just packing up some of the baby's things. Anything that reminds her of the baby. She's coming home. She's coming home. That's great. Yeah, the doctor says she's well enough. You know what? I might need you to um, sort of pick up the slack around here, take on some of my responsibilities, if you don't mind. Of course. Although you might need to brief me on what it is you've been doing. What do you mean? Well, uh, the manager said something about you being approached on a franchising deal. Oh, no, I, I wasn't keeping that from you. This it was more of an offer from me than the beacon. There's this guy, Lawrence Decker, he wants me to be the face of a string of hotels. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Turn him down flat. I can't take on anything new. I mean, Ava's going to need me, and I don't know. I just want to spend as much time as I possibly can with my daughters. Well, they're lucky to have you. You them. Tammy, 
Yeah, I think about her every day. And I would give anything to be doing what you're doing right now, packing up a room for her to come home to. But I'm happy for you. Thanks. And this other thing, I mean, you're not upset that Decker approached me and not you, because you're very pretty. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I, another time it might have bothered me, but no, I'm trying to cut out the things in my life that upset me, not add more to my life. Easier said than done, huh? Um, tell me about it. <laughs> You know, they didn't make maternity clothes quite as cute as when I was pregnant with Emma. <laughs> you should have seen the clothes when I was pregnant with Tammy. Hey, if this is um, too hard so soon after losing Max, I can do this. No, it's okay. I, I just, I thought that Remy had gotten most of this stuff out of here yesterday, and then I found this whole other batch of things. And I thought as hard as this is for me, I think about Ava. I know. I mean, my heart breaks for her. I can't even imagine... You know, when she was pregnant, it was probably the best time of my life. But you just had a heart transplant. I know, and as miserable and sad as I was for myself, I, I couldn't help but be excited for her and to be able to be there for her and help her through it, even though I have a feeling it wasn't the best time of her life. And I have to take some responsibility for that. I mean, I kind of pushed her into something that I'm not sure she wanted. But I'm grateful to have another shot at this, to try it again. And now I've made you sad. No, just, uh, maybe a little envious. But that seems to be my life these days, is stuck between being happy for people when good things happen to them and jealous that they're not happening to me. Especially when it's anything related to kids or babies. As in Reva's baby? Yes, actually, I just saw her and it turned into a thing. Mm. I don't know, she's a newlywed... Again. <laughs> and, you know, there was a time when I thought it was going to be me and Jeffrey before Josh. There was a time I thought it was going to be me and Jeffrey after Josh. Right. And now Reva and Jeffrey are having a baby. You know what? It's perfectly normal to feel a little jealous. Well, I don't want it to be my normal, wanting what I don't have when I have so much. I have my sons and my job and my friends, and I, I just don't know what I'm going to do with all my time if I'm not... Spending angry. it being angry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, just a knit. Take up knitting. I already knit. <gasps> I knew you were reading one of these things. You sure sounded like one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm all for, you know, people helping themselves. Uh, I think I finally am, too. I can't believe I'm even telling you all this stuff. Desperate times. Hi, sorry I'm late. The bus was... Natalia, I'm sorry, but I think we have to let you go. Oh, no. I really need this job. I mean, now more than ever. And as soon as I get my car fixed, this will, this will not happen again. I'm sorry. I don't have a choice. You're a part-timer and you're never here. So, um, when can I pick up my last check? I'll have it mailed to you. <laughs> 